after a few weeks of flying different locations and testing these antennas at different altitudes and range and everything, this CMOS camera, you see it does pretty good, but just the colors are just not matching. And plus, we turn around and fly into bright sunlight, the camera just keeps fluttering and flickering, so it's kind of hard to tell where you're going. And plus, it's hard to tell your voltage of your main battery pack. You don't want to fly and get low voltage and you know, can't make it back. So even though you can set a timer on your radio, but that doesn't always help because sometimes you don't know exactly what your voltage is, especially with throttle management. So I went ahead and picked up a mini OSD, it was like $21 free shipping, and a CCD camera that was uh, $15 with free shipping. The camera is 700 TV lines and it's a one third and it's 2.1 millimeter wide angle lens. And right here, this is how I have the camera mounted. You can see it's a wide fisheye lens right there, just hot glued it, everything down to the camera mount. That's the back of the camera right there. That's pretty good though. And the mini OSD has two voltages in and overlays that over your video downlink so you can see exactly what your voltages are. Right here, you can see at the top of the screen, left hand corner, you got 12.3, 12.4 volts. That's the voltage of the main flight battery pack. That battery is powering your electronic speed controller and your main motor. And the voltage directly under that is 11.6 volts. That's the mini small battery pack that's powering the, um, the camera and the video transmitter. So you got to keep out on those two voltages right there. And in the middle of the screen, you have uh, the, the time, which is like 2 minutes, 18 seconds into the flight. So every time you power the mini OSD up, it is automatically the timer starts back off at zero. So that's exactly how you know how you know, your time in flight and everything like that. And throughout the whole flight, I can actually see my voltage dropping down from the main flight pack. Now it's like 11.7.8. And it's good to know that voltage because you don't want to get out there on low voltage and you can't hardly make it back. And plus, right now my throttle is about three-fourths three -fourth ways up on the radio. And when you're on the ground, you can't hear the motor, so you don't know exactly how much power you're pulling. You just got a timer running on your radio to tell you, but you don't know exactly what your voltage is. Because you sort of just lose track of time sometimes and keep on flying, and you might just get low voltage and not make it back. But as you see, this camera does a pretty good job, and this is a Sunday evening, like around 4.20. So it's getting a little dark outside, and the camera's still doing pretty good, and the colors are matching and everything like that. So far, this $15 camera seems like it's doing pretty good. And these same, these uh, Cloverleaf antennas are still doing pretty good. But just a quick flight on a Sunday evening. Just want to test everything out on this airplane before I even try to put anything, or put the other airplane up in the air. Just got to get comfortable with this OSD stuff and flying by the screen the whole time. But this whole flight I did pretty much entirely with flying by the screen. Except for a few times when I was doing some low level flying. You know, look at the screen, then I look back up, that kind of deal. But you see that towards the end of the flight. And over here, I pretty much got like 1,500 feet away from the actual where I was actually standing at baseball field. So right now, if I look up, I can barely, the plane is like a little dot. So right now, I'm just mainly using the, the actual video transmitter and receiver as far as seeing where I'm at, where, where I'm at on the ground right now by flying. Since there's no winds out of right now, you can just glide around. Like right here, I just turn the motor off and just let the plane glide around. Just let it float. And so that's about it for this flight. Just only another few minutes left. So sit back and watch the rest of the flight. Just nothing fancy. Same old location I've been to several times. But when you're testing new gear, I always want to stick at a location that I know the area not like a new field because when you get up in that air at a new location try to test something out you end up losing track of exactly where you actually are in the air when you flying by looking down from the you know at your screen because you think you're in one spot and you're not so that's why I, when i'm always testing stuff i'm always going to the same field that i've been going to for years and years and i know the location and i know the um how everything looks on the ground from the air and everything that's why i'm picking the same spots when i'm testing everything 